We're joined now by China analyst and author of One Billion Customers, Jim McGregor. Jim comes to us live from Beijing. Good morning or good evening, sir. Thank you for joining us. Let's start with your take on the situation with Google and China right now. Well, uh, I think the bottom line is Google is fed up both with its inability to really build a business here and also with the political repercussions it had from censoring its site and now this cyber attack, I think that was just the end, the end of the road for them. So it's something that had been building up for a while and it was looking for a way out? I think they just, uh, you know, they, they saw that there's a lot of favoritism for Baidu by the government here. They were not getting traction. And I, I think it's part of really a larger mood by the foreign business community that um, things are not going well here. They're, now that China is kind of feeling on top of the world, it's getting harder and harder for foreign business here. There's more barriers, there's more regulations, there's more arrogance with the younger government officials they deal with. I've, I've been here 20 years and I haven't seen such a dark mood by the foreign business community uh, before this. What do you think other foreign companies will do? Will they take this as a cue to, to also do the same? I No. I mean, how many people can run out the door of China because this market is very big to them? I think some of the IT companies that are getting hacked and, and having their intellectual property stolen will get tougher. I think this will be looked at as a watershed event where the foreign business community starts to stand up a little bit um, uh, to the treatment they've been receiving lately. But I don't think you're going to see a lot of people running out the door. It's very interesting what Google's done. This, this has never happened before where somebody really just kind of directly takes on the Chinese government and says we've had it and we're not going to do business there anymore and unless things get better. That being the case, do you think Google is just saber rattling, threatening here or will it will it actually pull out of the Chinese market? I think it's going to have to pull out of the Chinese market because if you directly threaten the Chinese government as they did, there is no way the Chinese government is going to back down. I mean, there may be a solution where there'll still be some access for the international, you know, Gmail and some of the other things, but no, the Chinese government is not going to back down on this. If Google did this, they knew that they, they were that they were calling the end of the road with this statement they put out. We now have Jim McGregor back. Jim, sorry about that technical difficulty there. <laughs> <laughs> I no won't worries. comment on perhaps the coincidence of it, but uh, what were you, my question to you was: Is the Chinese government <laughs> involved at all in the cyber attack? I think the suspicion is they were, but who knows? I don't have any evidence, and I haven't seen any evidence, but that's obviously the suspicion by the cybersecurity community. There was 34 companies, including Google, that were apparently hacked by, by code put into Adobe PDFs where there was a vulnerability, and apparently massive source code was being pulled out. Um, I have not seen proof it's a Chinese government. Who knows where it came from, but obviously that's a suspicion. So what's next, very quickly? Well, what's next is uh, I think uh, we'll see how the government reacts here. The government here is, uh, you know, they're feeling uh, vulnerable these days because the, the economy around the world is, is dropping and China is standing higher than it's used to standing and they're in an uncomfortable position. And, you know, I think Google on its share price, why, why should its share price drop with their earning in China as a rounding error if at that? Okay. Thank you for your thoughts.